Hey, hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz. Now I once did a video called Know Your Role on the Battlefield and I still see it when I roll out in games now that players, especially the newer players, do struggle to understand what role they are meant to play on the battlefield. So I thought I'd put a selection of videos, four to be in fact, together to sort of harp on about that point. Now in a lot of my videos I say, know your role and know your tank. This is me yesterday rolling out in a T-54 lightweight, which is a really nippy tank. It's got a pretty good gun, to be honest with you. And, you know, it, it, it's a nice tank. But the thing is, it does have its downsides. I was on voice chat with my tune mate in this game and I did say to him that I was going to come this side and try and spot which is my role and then, then I decided to push this T32. I could see that the Pantera was struggling a little bit. I can get behind him with uh, my mobility and I can give him a hard time because I could track him there which helped me out no end. I'm kind of circling him to death. I'm using the mobility to basically give him a hard time we finally get rid of him. They've now lost three tanks. Unfortunately, only he came across this way. My teammate then says to me, look, there's a T-39, I can see that he's gonna be pushing on my teammate, I'm just gonna sit here, use my gun, take him out. Now I'm gonna use my mobility and my speed to get there. I've got all my hit points, there are only three tanks left. I wanna try and get shots into something and I want to use the mobility of this tank to try and get them to focus on me. So I'm going to rush past this SU, try and smack him. He's now looking at me, um, he, so which allows my teammate to take him out. Try and give one to the Chrysler, aim for his bottom plate. Unfortunately, it bounces. Use the mobility again to get out of harm's way. Now I'm going to push on the Chrysler. I'm telling my teammate I'm pushing on the Chrysler. Try to track him, doesn't work. You're gonna try and get round him, makes him, forces him to use the shot. I'm gonna ignore the Chrysler and focus on the SU. Smack the SU, my, he gets finished off. I've taken a bit of a smacking and a beating from the Chrysler, but my toon mate should be able to finish him off easily, which he does. So my role in that battlefield was basically to get them to to spot them and to make them look at me, which we did successfully. I used the pros and the cons of the tank to basically win the game. I didn't get a mastery, I didn't get massive damage, but I did my role. And as you can see, I allowed my teammate to do what his role was. I then rolled out in the bat chat. Now I freely admit I am not the best bat chat driver, but I'm gonna use to lies what I know about the tank. So. I, my first aim there was to just spot. My two mates in a grill, he's camping. I just wanted to spot them up, which I've done. I'm now gonna roll back in and try and get some shots in, knowing that my two mate has got it covered over the back. Here comes a Progetto, he smacks me, I bounce him, I smack him again. My two mate smacks him in the grill, I bounce him. Luckily, now I'm gonna get out of dodge. I can see that my mouse, which is driven by a good friend of mine, the Ting, goes is on his way over there i've still got cover from the grill as you can see my damage assistance is 1300 this is what i'm intending to do i'm intending to sucker these guys in to my bigger guns i.e the grill and the mouse and that's my intention here my intention is not to get a mastery my intention is not to get a massive damage gain my intention is to do my job as a light tank and that is to get them spotted and to get the bigger guns into the game to take these guys out. And that is all I am attempting to do. I'm gonna give this bat chat a bloody nose. He's focused on the mouse because it's a bigger gun. I know there's an E100 coming in. I'm hoping that the grill, my toon mate, is gonna help out with that. Doesn't matter if he does or not because the, the E100 is focused on the mouse. He's not interested in me. I'm gonna try and track him if I can. No, I can't. My, my, my mouse is looking at him, my grill is looking at him. I'm gonna be putting smacks into his side and the grill and him. 
that is exactly what I intended with this. I didn't intend the ammo rack, obviously, but what I intended was to get the grill into the game. The Sheridan on the other team now, he is in a good position. Nobody can get shots on him apart from me. So I'm gonna roll around, I'm gonna plow shots into him and hopefully get rid of him because I know the grill can't get him. I need to get out of there. The Bat Chat is another good player, friend of mine, Kill Warrior Destroyer of the clan Albus C. He is a pain. It's now three against two. There's a T62A and a Bat Chat on the enemy team. We've got the Mouse that is driven by Ting, who's a very, very good player. And the Grill in support still is now going to push the T62A. You can see he's dropped out from his camping position. I am trying to be a nuisance. I'm probably going to get a smack. I can take the smack from the T62, which I do. I bounce him. I'm going to try and put another smack into him, knowing that my that uh, my grill is still moving towards. You can see the grill there. He's moving towards the T62. Ting is going to try and move on the bat chat. I want to try and reload and get in the middle of them. They uh, may not focus me, but I'm doing... A, the bat chat goes. This allows us to push on the T62A, which I'm going to do. He's not looking at me. He's trying to. Um, I get stuck on the bat chat. Ting comes in. Grill comes in. We finish the game. I'm not setting the ward on fire in the bat chat. I'm only doing 3,000 damage, but that is how you play a light tank. And what gets me is everybody seems to be in the opinion that if you're in a light tank, you've got to brawl. Yolo in and then brawl. I didn't brawl at all in that game. So I'm going to switch to the AMX 5100, which is a clipper. And whilst it's a heavy tank, it is notoriously difficult to play. Mainly because whilst it's got nice hit points, and it does have quite a nice amount of hit points, the armor on it can be pretty thin. Now, I could realistically roll in there and try and bully my way through as you should in a heavy. But that's going to do my team no good whatsoever. Why? Because I've got a long reload and I've got thin armor and the SU is going to kill me and the Tiger is going to be able to put shots into me as well. So I want to take the SU-122 out because it's a good tank and it's got a good gun. And, you know, it, it's, it's a nice tank and it's a tricky tank and it's a dangerous tank. I can see now I've got support from the Tiger, so I can push, and as you can see there, the Tiger lost a lot of HP. I can now push on the SU, I try and get as many shots as I can in, I can get one, and then he gets wasted. I'm now going to push around onto the Tiger, and in a minute the T-34-2 will pop, there he is. Try and get shots in on them, I've got two in my clip. Unfortunately, he's hauled down, so I can't get anything onto him. I can see the tiger is making a move, so I'm going to try and get round and uh, get shots into the tiger. He's, he's desperate for that um, comet, I believe, or is it a comet? It's a comet. So I get a shot into him. I luckily bounce him. I've got one shot left. I can get round. I can hit him, and then I can retreat. There we go, because I've got a big reload, and there's an Amarek for effect from the comet. We've whittled them down now to only three tanks on the battlefield. The AMX AC there is another dangerous tank. I've not loaded yet, so I need to come around and try and get something into him. I'm still loading, and I'm lucky, and I finally get something into him. Now, there's only two tanks left. Again, I'm not setting the world on fire here, guys. I've kept all my hit points. There's a VK100 01P left. We can start hurting him. We can probably put the entire clip into him. No, we don't. I forgot because I took one on the AC. And we do the job. And that's all you're meant to do. And we win the game. Simple as that. So you don't need to rush around and try and do these nasty things. We win the game and that's the idea. This is the last replay. This is me in a charioteer. Now, the charioteer is a really nice British TD. It's actually, in real life, it's a medium tank with a big gun. And you should play it similar. It's got really bad armor, but a fantastic gun. It will bounce on occasion. But this is not a tank that likes sitting at the back, sniping. This is a tank that likes 
you know, getting into a good position to snipe. And as you can see there, put the um, the uh, premium HE in, and you can smack an IS6 into the uh, driver's hatch and knock him for 500. Unfortunately, I get a low roll on this one because I just missed the driver's hatch and only knock him for 43. But you can see how insanely good this gun is. And you can also see how insanely good the mobility of the tank is. I'm not sat camping at the back, but at the same token, guys, I'm not trying to frontline this thing because I understand the role it plays. And the role it plays is support, number one, and secondly, it's really thin, so you have to understand the tank. It's got a great gun, but not that great armor. So I've been smacked by the IS-3, I need to relocate, which is what I'm going to do. There's no point in me trying to fire HE because it, as soon as it hits that fence, that will take the ammunition out. So I need to either relocate to a new position, which I do, and then use my ability to get out of there. And this is what you should be looking at. You should be looking for these type of things. I need to put APCR in because HE would have just smacked onto the fence and it would have been over and done with. This now gives me the opportunity to smack him a bit more. He's trying to get a good shot into me, it doesn't work. I'm enjoying this. I'm playing the tank in the role it's designed to be in. It's a bit of a brawl, but I've got good um, cover left and right. So it's not a big problem. Now we can move down on the last two. Waffle tractor, well, stick in the HE. We can smack him for a lot, maybe. Uh, we get a low roll, 447. Where this next shot goes, I have no idea. But you can see, again, I'm in cover. I'm doing the job that I'm meant to do. I'm a support tank. I've got the gun pointed onto one of their dangerous guns. And guys, you know, I'm, I'm not running around the battlefield trying to muller everything. And I don't care that I don't do shed loads of damage and I don't care that I only get a second class. What I care about is the fact that we won the game. And this is the point I'm trying to make. You need to understand the roles that your tank is meant to perform. Once you understand the roles and you understand the tank, the game becomes a lot easier. Anyway, I've been Fujit. By all means, comment and everything below. If you haven't yet pressed subscribe, please do so. It's a lovely thing to do and it costs you nothing. Put a smile on my face. If you got any decent replays, wing them across to me to fujitsblitz at gmail.com or upload them to my Discord server, whichever is easier. A big shout out to my subs for getting me past 30,000, uh, 30,000, no, 3,000. And a huge shout out to my Patreons whose continued support makes these videos a lot easier to make. Until the next time, guys, remember, know your tank, know your role on the battlefield. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.